This is possibly the coolest mini crawler I have ever owned. What's up guys, welcome to the channel. On today's video, we have got another Panda Hobbies to have a look at. This is the Tetra X2. I've already got the K1 Tetra. Uh, this is a, a Dodge Power Wagon and it is awesome. Loads of cool features on it that we'll go over in a minute. One of the best things about this one is the oil shocks. This is the same chassis. One of the best things about this, we're gonna get out of the box and I'm gonna show you. I got this from eBay. There's a link in the description where you can get one from. Very hard to get this model. I think it's sold out all over the States. I did manage to find one on eBay. It was in Hong Kong. Uh, ordered it and it was here within about a week and a half, two weeks. Anyway, let's pull it out of the box because I want to show you this thing close up. You get a nice little branded flag there. I've got, um, I've already got one from the K1, but I keep forgetting to put it up. Uh, it comes very well packaged. It definitely won't get uh, damaged. Comes within another box as well. Set of tools and there's some little like hub covers there and some shock, uh, some preloaders for your springs, a couple of extra body clips, a USB charger, batteries for your transmitter, and two 700 milliamp hour lithium ions. You get a lot of runtime with these. So it comes 100% ready to run. Uh, so this is the transmitter, not too bad. Feels quite nice in the hand, nice foam uh, wheel on there. Then under here, you've got your um, dual rate. I think that's for your steering. And then you've got low, medium and high speed. It's not gears, it's just um, limits the amount of speed. I use medium quite often on my uh, K1 there. And you've got your uh, steering trim, uh, bind button, and uh, channel one. Uh, normal and reverse and you've got a channel three there that's for your lights i couldn't get that to work on that and um, they just stayed on all the time so i don't know whether they're going to work on this one a little pack of stickers and stuff in here and i know that you traxxas fanboys those of you that have got a trx4 bronco are going to absolutely love this thing Check that out. So this thing is so cool looking. Really nice scale feature. You've got your chrome bumpers, your chrome grill, your lights, um, a light bar on the top there, chrome mirrors. You've got your red trim around there. Uh, and overall, what a good looking truck. I can't rate these enough, these things. It was my top uh, mini crawler when I'd done a, a little course between three of the Three of the 124th, 118th scouting. Uh, this thing came top. Really good. Plenty of power, plenty of torque. Really nice suspension. Uh, and this thing is the same. A nice bit of flex on there. And I just can't believe how nice it looks. Wow. Right, I'll take the body off and I'll show you underneath and we'll talk about the features it has. So as you can see there, front, rear lights and the light bar, full LED setup there. Um, we'll switch that on a minute. We'll stick a battery in and we'll switch it on. It's got a 51T, it's got a 51 turn 180 motor connected to like a reduction box, then into the gearbox. Loads of torque and power out of that. Uh, a combined ESC and receiver. Your battery sits up the back there. Three wire axle mounted servo on the front there. Doesn't impede it at all. Gives a good um, turning on it. Nice soft rubber with foams in there and nice chrome detailed rims. Uh, this one's got black shocks. This has actually got nice chrome bodied shocks as well. Overall, I am really impressed with this. What I want to do though, is I want to get a battery and I want to have a look at them lights and then we're going to get straight out 
and then we're going to get straight out and I'm going to take it on a little trail. I got that for £99, which is about $120. Um, you can get these on the Panda Hobby website, but like I've mentioned, they're out of stock, so it's worth looking around. Uh, but I do rate that one as well. So the third channel does actually work on this, but it's only for the headlights. So you can see we've switched it on. We've got the nice rear lights. That's something this one hasn't got. The, um, the power wagon hasn't got rear lights. Nice, bright red lights there. Switch channel three on. Headlights and roof bar. How cool is that? Very impressed with this one. So low speed at the moment. Medium. And then high. I haven't got an SCX24, but I have seen these up against an SCX24 and these outperform that as well. The only downside I'd say to this one over the power wagon is you've got a little bit more um, height there. So when you go up to an obstacle, you've got a bit more gap there to get over it, whereas this may get caught up on the bumper. However, you've still got a decent amount of height there. So I think this is gonna be fine. Anyway, let's go and take this out on a trail and let's just see how good it actually is. Like I mentioned more than once, I know how well these perform, so I know what to expect from it. But anyway, let's go. I don't think I've actually run my uh, Panda Hobby outside of my garden. I've done like a couple of little scale courses. So it'd be interesting to see how it performs. Just on medium speed with this, it's the one I prefer. It's obviously low, medium, high, um, and we're in medium. Gonna get attacked by flying ants in a minute. Should be all right though. Don't have anything too uh, deadly in the UK like some of you do around the world. Wow. Performance already, I can tell it's gonna be good. So it's quite a bit of um, the throttle. It's, I mean, it's quite steady, but you have to, that's, I mean, I had to get halfway on the throttle there before it went anywhere. You could do with a, uh, like endpoint setting. I'm not sure you can on this, but I mean it's pretty controllable once you're there though. Check that. Oh, you got reverse lights as well. Look, put it backwards, reverse. That is awesome. I've only been recording a couple of minutes, and I am really impressed. What can I say? <laughs> it's just really good. It's annoy these ants. I have seen people put the CR18 um, tires on this or on these um, Panda hobbies. To be honest with you, these tires are pretty good. They're they're a bit firm because they got foams in, um, so they don't you know don't flex as much as I'd like, but still. Right, I need to move, I'm getting attacked here. It's not gonna get up there anyway, I don't think, no. Let's get out of here. I mean, I haven't got, like I've said, I haven't got, I haven't got an SCX24, but I reckon that this is definitely uh, the best one out there, this Panda Hobby. I mean, scale looks, oil shocks, it just, I mean, it's just so good. I don't think I'm just saying that to get sales of it. I bought this on eBay, so I'm not making any money by promoting this. This was my own purchase, and these are my own opinions on it. It's good. Switch to high gear, see if we can get a wheel speed up here. Yeah, there you go. Got a pretty strong brake as well. 
that's no throttle there at all. Slowly on the throttle, we're in high speed, remember. Wow, what an awesome truck. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking now. I'm going to get some nice footage for you. Cheers for watching. This thing is cool. Stormy rain tried to wash away the dream. 